Hello students, I hope you are fine and safe at your respected places. I am Kuldeep, your Sikh history teacher. Students, let us start our very first chapter of class 6 related to Guru Har Krishan Ji. Our 8th Guru, the son of Guru Har Rai Ji. So let us know about our child Guru, Guru Har Krishan Ji. Guru Har Krishan Tia Ye, Jis Dith Hai, Sab Dukh Jai. According to history, Guruji was born on 7 July 1656 at Kiritpur Sahib in the house of Guru Haraiji and Mata Kishan Kaur. He was very much influenced by the personality of his father Haraiji. Although he was of a young age but by the merit he was a great personality. He remained attached to Gurbani all the times. That's why he was being chosen by his father to be given Gurship. At a very young age, he was conducting himself in the form of divine effulgence of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. During that time, some were against his selection and appointment as Guru. They were spreading doubts and suspicion that Guru was a child and not capable of leading the Sikh Sangha. But all that preachings had no effects on the devotion of the Sikhs and their love for Guru Har Krishanji. Whosoever had the glimpse of Guruji was blessed with eternal pleasure. Guruji replied their questions and cleared their doubts. He guided all to recite the name of the Almighty. He would listen to the sufferings of the people and share their tribulations. He used to look after the birds and animals. He would visit hospital and provide medicine to the sick and the poor people. Once he was going to somewhere along with the sex while sitting in a plankin. On the way, a Brahman who was suffering from leprosy lay down before the plankin on the ground and started requesting Guruji to get him rid of his disease. Guruji saw his pitiable condition. He got down from his blanket and looked at the leper with kindness and mercy. Guruji gave him his handkerchief and advised him to meditate on Lord's name, recite Gurbani and rub the handkerchief gently on his body. Leper did the same. He followed the advice of Guruji. Leper found a new vigor appearing in his body. So in this way, Brahman got rid of his disease. This popularity of Guruji spread everywhere. People suffering from deadly disease started coming to Guruji. Guruji would ask them to recite the name of the Almighty and pray before him. Raja Ram, a very rich man, came to Guruji. He brought many expensive gifts for Guruji. But when he was about to enter Guruji's court, Guruji stopped him. Here is question, why Guruji stopped him? Guruji stopped him because he used to kill whenever a girl, girl was born in his family. Guruji said that he could not see such a person who killed the girl child in his family. According to Guru Nanak Dev Ji, So kyo manda akhiye jit jamme rajan. Raja Ram started praying and requested Guruji to be forgiven for his sin 
and promised not to repeat his sin again. After a long time, Guruji blessed him and told the congregation also, whosoever would commit the sin to kill his daughter, he or she would not be allowed to come to the court of the Guru. Guruji used to guide the congregation to become good beings. The court of Guru Har Krishanji had become a spiritual center where there was no element of duality. So, we should learn a lesson from this chapter, be a good human beings, kind-hearted, devotee, help the needy ones and recite the name of the Almighty. Remember and meditate upon respected Guru, Guru Har Krishanji. By having the sight of whom all pains vanish. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.